Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today my voice is sounding rough, but I wanted to film this video because I've been waiting over a week for me to get back to filming because I had no voice whatsoever. I needed to film the finale of my Full Face of Summer project. Yeah, I have here all the products and I also made a list of all of the products that I finished during this project. You will see probably this finale about a week after uh, my last update, but that update I filmed about three weeks ago. So you can keep that in mind. If you want to see my update on this project and how many products I ended up finishing on this project, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so let's talk about the products that I made progress on and that were you only here for progress. This is the Too Faced Turn Up the Light Palette in the shade Medium, and this is a complexion enhancing highlighting palette. I was only meant to use the powder from the center of the palette to buff my makeup. 90% of the times that I did my makeup and buffed it, I used this powder, and the powder is actually looking flat. So you can see the other two domes, and then this one looking flat. And I'm happy that I did that because this was a palette that was sent to me by a friend and it was brand new, and I enjoyed it. Next year I will work on this for sure. This was basically a fail for me. This is the Becca Shimmer Skin Perfector Press in Opal. I hit pan during this project on this shade that I had repressed already and I wanted to double the size of the pan but I ended up getting bored and using other things and sometimes you guys if I have to remove a step from my makeup routine it will be highlighter so this one wasn't as used as I wanted it to be but I hit pan on it again during this project. From the products that were introduced from the beginning I have here the Charlotte Beautiful Skin Foundation. I ended up not liking this foundation for the weather that I live in. I used this in cold weather and I've mentioned it before and it worked beautifully on my skin. But when I'm in this type of humidity, it just doesn't work. So I have to mix it. I have been mixing it with a tinted moisturizer that I have in my Partners in Cream Project Pan, which is the Laura Mercier Matte Tinted Moisturizer. And I'm now mixing it with my Fall Project Pan Foundation, which is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. So that's the way that I've been using it. I'm wearing it today mixed with those other two. But this one, I wouldn't repurchase. It just, it wasn't for me. It, it didn't blow my mind. But I've made so much progress, you guys, before when, we, when I started, it was like basically right here. And now you can see that it's not only looking sheer in the center, but it's almost completely, you can see it's completely flat. And then what it has left is this amount right here. I'm going to keep working on this because it's a goal of mine to finish this before the year is over. So I made a lot of progress on it, but I will keep working on it outside my project pan. I wanted to work on primers and I decided to put this one in. This is the Italia Relief Gripping Primer and this was a gift from my friend Janet and I set a goal on my last update that I wanted to hit the E and I did so. I'm happy that I reached that goal and I know that I can finish this sooner rather than later. I'm not going to work on this again this year I think. Um, if I can reach for it once or twice I will. But I'm thinking that by next year, the beginning of next year, this could be an empty product of mine. And I'm going to work through that. It was a good one. I still want to try the milk one. But it, this has been a good progress that I made on a product. Lip products, you guys, are, are the worst for me. I have here the Camila Coelho and Lancome L'Absolute Rouge Cream in the shade Last Minute. And this was a favorite of mine and then I stopped using it. I'm wearing it today and this now ends up looking a little bit more warm than I would like. I prefer more of a pinky nude, but I still love this color. And you can see progress from the um, introduction, but not as much as I would have liked. I really love these and I will keep working on it and I'm happy that I placed it on the project because it was being neglected because I was being stubborn. I didn't want to finish it because I can't get it again. And now when I finish it, I wouldn't want to get it again. I would prefer a pinkier shade, but this formula is beautiful. If you like any Lancome Absolute Rouge Cream lipsticks, a shade of that, just pick it up because they perform like nothing else. They're super soft on the lips, but they're opaque. So I would highly recommend this formula and I would repurchase colors from this formula. This color is beautiful, but again, right now I'm more into um, cool tone and nude. As a replacement for my Tarte Shape Tape, I placed the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Full Wear. And these, you guys, performs like a high-end 
um, concealer I've mentioned this time after time and when I see this inside it has product right here on the packaging but it doesn't have anything in the center I know that I have months and months to go before I finish this because I use about six to ten dots on the daily but I will keep working on it. I don't have to have it in a project pan. I will keep rotating my concealer collection, but using this as my main concealer because I truly want to make progress on it and finish it as soon as possible. But this is a highly recommended concealer from me if you have oily skin, if you live in a humid weather. This is super long wearing. And then on my last update, I was telling you guys that I was struggling with my brows and that I needed something to hold them up and that I was going to introduce this product to the project this is the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Glue to see if I could just stop myself from purchasing the Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom. As soon as I did that, I was just feeling like I, I didn't make a good decision and I still wanted to pick up the Mr. Brow Groom. But now that I've been using this over and over and over, I'm wearing it today. You can see how it holds my brows. I'm in love with it. If you want to see an, uh, an updated brow routine of mine, Keeping in mind that brows are not my strong suit, but I feel like I've gotten better at them, even being a makeup artist. Brows are, I do better brows on my clients than I do on myself. These, I feel like, will hold me up until I finish it. Um, I will not be purchasing the Mr. Brow Room because I really love these. And I'm even thinking about just having these always in my collection and repurchasing because it just it just works one something that i can take with me on a trip that is not this big but i really like this uh, you can see that it holds my brows up as if they were laminated i'm not gonna show you progress because it has an air bubble and i'm not gonna squeeze and waste product from it but i've used this every day since i put it on this project and it will be used every day without having it in any project so i'm happy that i placed it on this one then on my last update since i was about to finish a product that i'm still about to finish i decided to introduce the charlotte tilbury in the shade medium the airbrush flawless finish powder and you guys i've made so much progress on this one and then i went on a weekend trip and i got a tan which i still have a tan you guys this is me having a tan I was using these to set the perimeters of my face and then the Australis one, which I'm going to show you in a minute, um, to set the center of my face or do my under eyes or just set um, my lid before I shadow. And I've made so much progress on this one, having it as a secondary powder. And I'm excited because this one I placed on my fall project pan and I know I will finish it during the fall project pan for sure. And now for the empties and this one it's not quite empty yet but it will be an empty tomorrow and you will see it on my empties of course this is the australis fresh and flawless press powder in the shade nude and this doesn't suit me you guys i'm wearing it today in the center of my face this is too pink for me but um i have to do quite a bit to just try and make it work because when i have put this all over my face because i wanted to finish it i would just look pink and it wouldn't it would look like my face wasn't connected to my body but i repressed the amount that it was right here because i only had a product in the perimeters of the pan and then it ended up being so much product that i thought i was gonna finish it like this and then when i repressed it i ended up working on this product for longer than i was expecting it to so i have about one or two days um of usage from this powder uh, now but it will be an empty and I'm considering it as an empty when I show you the list of products I finished during this project and these I have in another shade and I will work on that during upcoming projects for sure because I want to finish all of my pressed powders from my collection then this is my most exciting empty and it's the makeup by Mario it's soft cold transforming skin enhancer in the shade light medium you guys I finished this I didn't even have to melt it with my sea powder because I was using this every single day for my makeup and I enjoy this so so much but I'm gonna repurchase a light shade um, of this one when I do because I adore it but this was too dark for me and now I know that all of the bronzers that I purchase from now on, I will always buy the lightest shade for me. But this was lovely. I would introduce this to my kit. 
I prefer powders for my makeup artistry kit, but this would be one of the cream bronzers that I would for sure introduce to my kit because this is easy to work with. I'm currently working on my NARS cream bronzer on my fall project pan, but this is just a lovely and I know this will be one of the few products that I finish this year that I will repurchase. Eyeliners, you guys, I finished Whiskey um, from Urban Decay. You can see how tiny this is. I was using this every single day and now I introduced a shimmering brown for my Fall Project PN. But I'm super excited that I finished another eyeliner since I have so many and I have a goal of not purchasing any eyeliners whatsoever in the upcoming year if I can help it. Maybe a black one if I finish all of the black ones that I have, but I just want to be in a no buy when it comes to eyeliners for sure. So yeah, another eyeliner gone. And then this one I finished two days ago. This is the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion in the shade, shade Magic Hour. And this, I was hoping for it to be done super quickly and I was using it and abusing it and it wasn't gone. And now it's gone. Of course, like always, I will remove the product that it has inside of it and place it on my little pot of my Franken lip balm that I use every day when I'm doing my makeup to prep my lips or that I carry on my bag to take with me because it has numerous amounts of shades that I can use on myself and, and I will use my finger and dab it and it will give me a hint of color so I will not waste any product but I will be considering this an empty since I can't use the bullet anymore okay you guys and as a conclusion for this project I finished eight products I finished two concealers one was a big one which was the Tarte Shape Tape and a small one, which was the Charlotte Tilbury Mini Concealer in shade number one. I finished a primer, which was the Makeup Forever Matte Primer, which had a little bit left, but I decluttered it because I didn't want that in my life. Then I finished two powders, which is the Australis Fresh and Flawless, a pressed powder, and then also the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. I finished a bronzer, which is the um, Mario skin enhancer which I adore and then I finished an eyeliner Urban Decay Whiskey and a lip product which is the perfect product to finish because I it's so hard for me to finish lip products is the M Cosmetics Magic Hour Lip Cushion I'm happy that I started doing this on a project pants again you guys because they help me not only use products place usage goal on products but also aiming to finish products or get progress to finish them in upcoming project pans of course and I'm happy to have discovered a few things that I can use on my daily routines so that I can finish them and also to make myself work on products and mix in them to finish them eventually so thank you for being here and supporting my project pans any product that I used or that I finished during this project pan will be linked below. My links are affiliate, so I get a small commission when you purchase through them. If you do that, you will be supporting my channel. And if you don't wanna do that and you wanna still support my channel, just share my videos, give them a like, leave a comment, and watch them until the end. I love you guys. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.